Uh, hello everyone, these uh, tutorials here are on some uh, quick tips to resize, rescale, and kind of modify uh, your rasters. So a lot of the videos we work through in this class, um, you know, they talk about um, analytics on rasters or what they are, conceptually why they use them, but there may be certain times when you find yourself uh, pulling or having created raster data sets that are, that are coming from several different sources and in order to get them to line up so that you're you know performing those uh, what I call the graph paper operations where every cell is lining up perfectly on top of each other like pages in a, in a graph paper in a graph paper book um, you might need to actually modify some of the settings of those rasters to make sure that they're sized appropriately so if you recall in I think either the introduction to raster video or some raster processing, um, you know, we talked about this idea of the environments being an area where you can control these, and that's definitely great. You, know, you can control your processing extent, right? How big the raster is. You can control its coordinate system, and you can control the cell size, all three of which are very important in making sure your rasters are sized identically. Um, but that's good for new rasters that you create. You know, so what happens if you drag something in and it doesn't exactly align? And that's what I have here. I have two grids. Um, one which reports the need for conservation of fish from zero, you know, don't need it much, to ten a lot. And the same for birds. And, you know, there's clearly some uh, small issues here that we'll look at. You know, the one first is that the birds is a little bit bigger. Um, you know, than the fish conservation, you know, so maybe we want them to be the same size so they're not necessarily, uh, you know, all over the place. Uh, one that's a little bit tougher to see, we kind of have to really zoom in to be able to see it. And even then it might just be off. Uh, their cell sizes are slightly different, right? It's kind of hard to see exactly. i got to find a perfect area, right? The cell sizes are slightly off, right? You have your fish conservation one, being somewhat smaller as you can see than the ones below it. And you can always check that by going to properties, going to your source, and really seeing, okay, I'm 30 by 30, and I am, as a bird, I am, you know, 40 by 40, right? So I'm, I'm off. And I think the final thing you can kind of see just from the angle, right? But you can always test really here by going into your uh, pixel inspector. Right, you can see that the fish one, which is kind of what we aspire to be, we want to be the fish grid, that looks like this, whereas the bird grid looks like this, right? It's projected in a different coordinate system. So in a sense, we, we want to do three tools today, you know, to modify the projection, um, you know, to change the cell size, and then ultimately to, you know, extract or to clip back to a size. And there's a number of different ways and, and different tools to modify rasters, but I think from a basic standpoint, these three are really important. Right, resample lets you move from one cell size to another. Project lets you take something that's in a different projected coordinate system and project it so it can align with your other rasters. And finally, extract. Take something that's a little bit too big, right, like the red raster, and essentially kind of clip it or size it down so it shares the processing extent with something else. So let's go through them one at a time. So first, resample. You can find that up in data management, rasters, Raster processing, resample. And like everything, right, 100 pathways in ArcGIS, you can always go through the search tool. So I'm going to say fish is where we want to be, so bird's what we're trying to change. And so I would drag in the bird one, save it as something, um, we'll call it a bird cell because we're changing the cell size. And cool here, you know, you can either set this manually or, you know, pretty neat. Like, I know I want it to be the same as fish, so let me use that. Just take on whatever the values of fish are. Uh, in terms of your resampling, you know, just four options here um, to run you through. Nearest, you know, it simply is like whatever cell is closest to me. Um, you know, that's the one that I'll resize. Uh, by linear and cubic, they're interpolation methods. So, for example, if um, a smaller cell or is trying to become larger, then that larger cell would look at maybe all the cells that are within a certain radius of it, you know, 4 or 16, depending if you're bilinear or cubic, and interpolate. And majority would be similar. It looks in its neighborhood, but it just takes the number that um, occur most. Um, you know, I think this really depends on what you're doing. Bilinear and cubic are, are much better for linear or continuous rasters, right, as you can see right here. Um, home sale price, density, distance, temperature. 
and nearest and majority are, are much better for discrete land, you know, um, and, and optimal grids. Or sorry, not optimal, ordinal grids. And so I'll just do nearest because it's easiest. Bing bada boom does its thing. All right, you've got your first part of your bird, and we've solved one of our problems, right? Now we're 30. But we're still too big, and we're still, right, projected wrong coordinate system like this. So the next thing you might want to do is project it into the correct coordinate system. So you can find that under projections and transformations within data management, raster, project raster. Notice, I wanted to do this one second just because you do also have the option to resample while you're projecting here. So that's kind of nice. You can kill two birds with one stone using this tool. Just wanted to let you know that resample is an option as well. All right, so I drag in what I want. tells me what its current coordinate system is. Right, find something to save it as. Um, similar here, right? When you're picking a projection, I can always add a system and I can import it from something. I know that fish is where it's at, so I'm not going to go and define it myself. Just take on that coordinate system. If I wanted to resample, I could. Right, keep it the way it is. Bing, bada, boom, or sorry, rather change the, the resampling, but it's already the way that it needs to be, so I don't necessarily need to. It's going to already be 30, and it'll stay 30 by 30. Hit OK, let it do its thing. All right, very good. Bing, bada, boom. So that's done. Got my birds that are projected. All right, still a little bit too big, but if I zoom in <clears throat> and I look at my fish, and now I look at my bird, they are at least oriented correctly. However, what's a little bit different, right? This is my bird, and this is my fish. They're slightly off, right? Because of the size of the other one, its processing extent is slightly misaligned. It'd be like if the printer gave you graph paper and um, you know the offset was slightly off on one or two of the pages, right? It would, it would jut out a little bit, and they don't perfectly overlap. And it doesn't always create problems, but eventually it might, right? I mean, this first cell, you know, it's uh, the purple and green, not as much. But as you get to the third and the fourth cell, you know, you start to become uncertain, right? What value should I be taking here? I kind of have multiple values, um, you know, from your raster and mine. Should I take one? Should I take the other? So on and so forth. So you can end that with um, a couple of tools. There's a clip tool in here that should do the trick as well. But uh, what I really prefer is in Spatial Analyst extraction and extract by mask. So you can uh, play around with the other tools. A couple of real good ones in here. We may make a video one day for this tool, extract values to points, which is pretty neat if you need to get a raster to give its values to a point data set. But right now really all we're saying here is I'm going to take the bad raster, the one I need to be in the right area, birds projected, and I'm going to mask it just in this one time instance to fish. So take on the processing extent and the size of fish. It'll do its thing, bing, bada, boom, and I close, get rid of the projected. They look like they're aligning, right? They appear to be right on top of each other. We can test it with our pixel inspector, looking good for the bird, looking good for the fish. We can go in and confirm that they are the same size and cell size, same size and same cell size. So those are the tips, right? Resample lets you move from one cell size to another. Project lets you take something in one coordinate system and align it with the rest of your data. And extract lets you take something that's too large, the processing extent is too big, and get it back down. And again, these three tools are really used if you already have the data, right? If you haven't created it yet, get this set up beforehand in geoprocessing environments. Take care of it in processing extent in raster analysis cell size, right? Do it there so that all subsequent grids that are created are the correct size. This is when you're given data that doesn't actually align.